Mule Shoe TV.com, Gillam Advertising Channel 6 live stream broadcast of the Mule Shoe Mules versus Brownfield Cubs football game brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Burton Service Center, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic, Vet Supply, Shippen's Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Mule Shoe Housing Authority, Mule Shoe Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Mule Shoe Area Medical Center, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, McCormick Seeds, Bailey County Farm Bureau, Scott Miller. Woods Field inside Benny Douglas Stadium for tonight's non-district matchup between your Milshu Mills and the Brownfield Cubs. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills, coming to you under the Friday Night Lights with Gil M. Advertising Channel 6 Milshu. Both teams red hot on the season. Brownfield 5-0 with wins against Post, Tulia, Roosevelt, Dimmitt, and Littlefield. Milshu 4-1 on the season. Four game winning streak under their belt. Loss to Littlefield at the very beginning of the season. That score was 28 to 7. Uh, Brownfield won against Littlefield last week, 28 to 14. Then Milshu went on a winning streak. Lamisa, Friona, Tulia, and Abernathy. Brownfield's roster consists of number one, Lotan Jimenez, two, Gage McPherson, number three, Jaden Gonzalez, four, Logan Shrimpton. 5. George Rivera, 6. Austin Martinez, 7. Jojo Carlillo, 8. Kevince Busby, 10. Braden Anthony, 11. JJ Martinez, 12. Zachariah Gonzalez, 14. Ryan Games, 15. Julios Olivas, 20. Adriano Morales, 21. Caden Wise, 22. Brayson Salas, Number 30, Tristan Martinez, 32, J.D. Vasquez, 33, Josh Gonzalez, 38, John Steele, 45, David Garza, 50, Austin Sisson, 51, Malik Mason, 52, Pancho Garza, 53, Austin Fiera, 55, Brandon Roldan, 60, Fernando Mendez, 61, Ian Durham, 65, Stephen Jenkins. Uh, 67, Jordan Gonzalez. 72, Anthony Salinas. 73, Andrew Lira. 75, Michael Perez. Number 88, Caden Moore. 89, Yahir Mendoza. The head coach is Aaron Flores, and the superintendent is Chris Smith. Now, here's your lineup for your Milshu Mills. Number zero, Davian McMullen, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. Number one, Irvin Torres, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. 
Two, Judas Reyes, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Three, Bone Cincineros, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Number four, Ryan Dominguez, quarterback, defensive back, sophomore. And uh, we are going to, uh, looks like they're going to do the national anthem. I think they're waiting on the Cubs to run out. Let's wait and see. I'll keep going down the line. Number five, you got Nathan Martins, quarterback, defensive back, sophomore. Number seven, Sebastian Curvin, quarterback, linebacker, junior. Number eight, Justin Dyke, wide receiver, defensive back, senior. Ten, Donovan Gonzalez, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. At number 11, you have Yahir Kazeda, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. 13, Kazik Herrera, or KB Herrera, wide receiver, def defensive line junior. Number 18, you got Anthony No, running back, defensive back senior. 20, Ryan Clifton, wide receiver, defensive line senior. 21, Daniel Sines, wide receiver, defensive back junior. 22, Noah Cantu, wide receiver, defensive back junior. 24, Uriel Vasquez, wide receiver, defensive back senior. 30, Isaiah Espinoza, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. 33, Tate Shipman, wide receiver, linebacker, senior. 44, Jaxer Lopez, running back, defensive line, junior. Number 51, Jonathan Salinas, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 54, Davian Ragsdale, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 55, Ezekiel Hinos, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 60, Raymond Cortez, offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. And looks like they're going to get lined up for the national anthem, and uh, we will recognize that also. Number 63 is Osmart Rodriguez, offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 64 is Ivan Mora, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. 66 is Eric Vasquez, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 67 is Aaron Morales, offensive line, defensive line, sophomore. 74 is Lee Tosh, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 75 is Camilio Espinoza, offensive line, defensive line, junior. 76 is Isaac Villa, offensive line, defensive line, senior. 78 is Nick Reyes, offensive line, defensive line, senior. Number 8 is Mauricio Herrera, wide receiver, defensive back, sophomore. 81 is Ramsey Martinez, wide receiver, defensive back, junior. Your head coach is Jason Richards. Under him is going to be Aaron Simon. Offensive coordinator is Chris Mosier. Defensive coordinator is Daryl Davis. Your special teams coordinator is Stephen Butler. And your assistant coaches are as listed. It's going to be Jackson Lee, A.J. Villanueva, David Stervenant, Austin Ross, Brant Davis, Hector Lopez, Gentry Doolittle, and Stephen Seymour. Your superintendent is Dr. R. L. Richards and the high school principal is Cindy Basir. 
Milshu looks to end the win streak for the Cubs tonight. Red hot five games so far is what the Cubs have won. Milshu also red hot. Defense has been the key for Milshu this season so far. Averaging about two to three turnovers a game is where they're running into currently. It's a really, really strong defensive team. Last week uh, at the head of the offense was Nathan Martins, the quarterback. Did a really good job of protecting the ball. Only had, I think, one turnover on the game. Really good job by the Milshu offense and defense last week on keeping control of the game for most of the game. Never really felt out of hand for Milshu. So Milshu looking to kind of keep that momentum going into this one. Kicking it away. It's going to be Air Morales. Back to receive is going to be Busby. Number eight for Brownfield. And here we go. It's going to be a high deep kick. It's going to be number 33. Who's going to take it? That's going to be Josh Gonzalez. Josh Gonzalez has some good blockers out in front of him. He's tackled as number one, Irvin Torres. A little shoelace tackle. Brownfield will set up shop at the 25, and that's where they will get going. First and 10 for the Cubs. Here we go. Pass looking over the middle. He's going to go deep to number eight, Budsby. And Budsby's pass is caught. That was number 11, J.J. Martinez at quarterback. Okay, here we go. A little hurry up for the Cubs offense. And that wouldn't surprise me they went back to him. No, it's going to be a handoff up the middle. And that's going to go maybe a few yards on the play. That was 33, Josh Gonzalez. And that ball was out. And, oh, my goodness, that's so dangerous. I think Milshu came up with it. And they did. Another turnover for the big defense. Davian McMullen, number zero. So good job on stopping the momentum for Brownfield. The Milshu defense comes up big on that one. Milshu offense will now set up shop. Looks like Sebastian Curvin and company are going to be out on the field. Sebastian leading the way for the Milshu offense. At the top of your screen, you got 81. That's going to be Ramsey Martinez. You got two backs in the backfield. One's going to be Daniel Sines and Irvin Torres. And that's going to be a keeper by Sebastian Curvin and the Mills or the Cubs defense read that one out. So we loss of a few on the play makes up second down. It's going to be second and thirteen for Milshu. Daniel signs to the right of Sebastian Curvin got trips and that snaps go go overhead and that looks to be Brownfield's ball now. So big turnover for Brownfield. Jordan Gonzalez is the one that landed on that one. So now Brownfield gained the ball. Milshu's defense is going to have to be stout on this one. Brownfield starting off inside Milshu territory at the Milshu 34 yard line. Be first and 10, 1041 left in the first quarter. Two turnovers in this game so far. Martinez looking, looking to his left, and he's gonna go over middle, just outside of the reach of number seven, Jojo Carlillo. So gonna bring up a second down and ten. Clock will stop at 10.38. Man in motion. 
handoff up the middle and uh, met at the line of scrimmage. Gain of one on the play. That's what it looks like. It's going to be third down and nine. Just Josh Gonzalez on the carry. Only a yard on that one. And here we go. Play action and going deep over the middle. That's going to be caught for a first down. It's going to be Caden Moore on the reception. So here we go. Hurry up offense by the Cubs. Meal shoot stacking the box. Here we go. And it's going to be a little play action over the middle. Caught inside the five for the Cubs. It's going to be Jojo Carlillo on the reception. And here we go. Handoff up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage. Josh Gonzalez, nowhere to go. And there's going to be flags on the play. I wonder if the offense got set in time before they were able to do anything. Here we go. Personal foul. It's going to be on Milshu. First and goal. Half the distance to the goal for the Cubs. It's going to help them out. First and goal at the two-yard line. Here we go. Handoff is going to go to Gonzalez, and he is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. That's the strong Milshu defensive line. No gain on the plane. We'll make it second and goal at the one. Gage McPherson is in for number seven, Jojo Carlillo. And here we go. It's going to be a handoff. That's going to be stuffed at the line. No good. They're saying short again. The Milshu defensive line doing a great job. Third and goal for the Cubs. Clock now at 840 in the first quarter. Man in motion. Oh, that was a little sneak. That's in. That's 88 Caden Moore who came across and then took the snap himself, went under center. And there's a flag on the play. It's going to be a sideline warning for Coach. Sideline warning for Milshu. 89, you hear Mendoza to attempt the extra point. Score 6 to 0 with 8.24 left in the first quarter. Cubs lead the Mules. Snap is down. Snap is good. Kick's going to be up, and it is through the uprights. 7 to 0 is your score here in Milshu, Texas, with the Cubs leading. 824 left in the first quarter. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. We'll be right back with your kickoff. It's going to have a good kickoff place. They're going to be kicking it off from the Milshu 45. It's a one yard run by number 88, Caden Moore. Went across top to bottom on your screen. Took the snap himself on the motion and uh, scored the little one-yard touchdown for Brownfield. The defensive line of Milshu was having a really good stand up until that point, and that one kind of surprised everyone. 32 to kick it away. That's going to be J.D. Vasquez. That's just going to be a little pooch kick, fair catch called for Milshu, and they're going to take it at about the 23-24. Let's see where they set up shop. Both 
teams with one turnover for the defense in a kind of similar fashion, just a little backwards pass, not good for Brownfield, led to the turnover for them. Then Milshi got the ball a couple of plays and then just a really bad snap over the head of Kervin, and that went into the hands of back into Brownfield, which led to the Brownfield score. So Milshu first and 10 at the 23. That's going to be a keeper by Sebastian Kervin. Sebastian Kervin, nowhere to go, and he's going to get maybe a few yards on the play. They're going to give him one, second down and nine for Milshu. Wide receivers at the bottom of your screen is Bone Centineros and 33. Tate Shipman at the top of your screen is going to be Irvin Torres. And that's going to be a little quick pass out. That's going to be number three on the tackle, Jaden Gonzalez. And that's going to be a loss of two on the play. Makes it third and 11 for Milshu. So Ramsey Martinez... Now moving to the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is going to be Judas Reyes, Irvin Torres, Bone Cincinnatos. It's the slot receiver at the bottom of your screen. Sebastian Kervin's your quarterback. To the right of him is going to be Daniel Sines, number 21. And here we go. Sebastian looking. Caught. That's Irvin Torres. First down, Milshu. Really, really, really good job on getting the first down. Good recognition. Kind of a broken coverage. Irvin Torres recognized it, cut his route short, cut back to the outside, and a good pass by Sebastian Kervin leads to the Mill Street first down, keeps the drive alive. Seven minutes left in the first quarter in counting. Zero to seven is your score with the Cubs leading the Mills. Here we go. Handoff signs. Trying to find a hole and really didn't find one. Back to the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. Second down and 10 for the Mules. And you got to give credit to the Cubs defense. The up front, really physical, and it's a reason why they are undefeated on the season. Really good communication, really good chemistry between the guys in the trenches. 15 seconds left on the play clock. 6.15 left on the game clock in the first quarter. 0-7 to seven still to score. Tate Shipman in the wing. And here we go. It's going to be a keeper by Sebastian Curve. Sebastian Curve, really good blockers in front. And there he goes across the 50 to the 40. 30. No flags. Touchdown. That's going to be a big, big, big run. By Sebastian Kervin, the quarterback, and I give I tell you what, Tate Shipman got a really, really great block. He was going to get double teamed, turned, and allowed for a big open hole. Six to seven is your score with 554 left in the first quarter. It's a 69-yard run. Irvin Torres to attempt the extra point. That kick's going to be up. And just to the left, no good. Keeps the score seven to six. We're going to be right back with your kickoff. You're listening to Channel Six Milshu. Run by Sebastian Kervin. Great blocking from the offensive line. Kicking it away. It's going to be Aaron Morales. Little pooch kick's going to go high and up. I think Josh is going to go straight to Josh Gonzalez. Again, and that looks to be the direction. It's going to ah, curves back, and that's going to go out to Busby. Busby is a very dangerous kid. You're going to have to get him down fast, and that's what they do. That's Judas Reyes, number two on the tackle. So Brownfield, similar places there. First drive, setting up shop at the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Cubs. Here we go, Martinez rolling out to his right. Looking, going deep. That's going to be just outside of the reach of number 20. That's going to be Adriano Morales was the intended receiver. It's 
Here we go. Second down and 10. Clock stopped at 517. Here we go. Handoff. Up the middle is going to be Martinez and... I'm sorry, Gonzalez. It's Josh Gonzalez on the carry. Nowhere to go on that one. Martinez looking going over the middle again. That ball's up in the air. Bone Cincinnati's interception. He needs to get blocks out in front of him. There we go. There's going to be flags, so this one will come back. Oh, my goodness. There's a, enough laundry out there for a full load in the washing machine. The interception is good, so the ball will be mill shoes. That'll be Brownfield's second turnover of the game, but there's a some blocks in the back, some crackbacks, and I'll see uh, what the officiating crew is going to say. They're saying unsportsmanlike conduct on Mill Shoe. And it was also an illegal block on Mill Shoe. So it should be Mill Shoe's ball. And Mill Shoe will set up shop. And tacking on even more yards. Milshu will set up shop at the 30, so might as well would have been a punt at this point. First and 10 to Milshu 30. The interception happened right over midfield, right at about the 50 yard line. And uh, man, oh man, I thought that he was going to be gone, but a couple penalties later, and now you're set up in your. Oh, and a 30. Not anything Milshu's unfamiliar with. We'll see if they set up a good drive. 435 left in the first quarter. Handoff. Daniel signs up the middle. And he's going to be tackled. Big tackle. That's going to be number 50, Austin Sissons, on the tackle. In business as usual, just Daniel signs just chipping away at the yardage here and there between the yard markers. Second down and seven. Clock running 410 left in the first quarter. You got Ramsey Martinez, lone receiver at the top of your screen. You got Bone Cincinnatos, Irvin Torres, and Tate Shipman at the bottom of your screen. Daniel signs to the right of Sebastian Curvin, number seven. Here we go. Hand off Daniel signs, and Daniel signs is going to. He met the line of scrimmage. He's going to lunge forward, get a yard on the play. Third down and six. Third down and six. Milshu. And Sebastian Curve is going to keep himself a delay, and he got speed across the middle. He goes. He's going to be tackled, and he's going to stay down, and I wonder if he's going to get back up on his own, and he does. First down, Milshew, now located at the 45-yard line. And Sebastian Curve is going to have to come out. Nathan Martin's in at quarterback. Both really good quarterbacks, so, I mean, you're trading off. And uh, Nathan, great job last week on the start, kind of led this Milshu team, stepped up as Sebastian was out for the game. Three minutes and counting in the first quarter. 
Seven to six is your score. Brownfield leads. Nathan, handoff. Daniel signs. Daniel signs. Chunk yardage again. And give him a three yard run, make it second down and seven for the mules. Here you go, a little bit of flip on the field. Now you got the trips up high, got solo receiver down low. It's going to be Bone Cincinnati set the bottom of your screen. And that pass is going to be out to Irvin Torres. That was almost swatted down. Irvin Torres has a man to beat, two men to beat, and he gets the first down and some more change to that dollar. So first down, Mill Shoe. About midway into Brownfield territory. Be first and 10 at the 34-yard line. Got about 13 seconds left on the play clock. Nathan looking, flushed out of the pocket, rolling out, poised. There he goes. Good catch. Bone Cincinnatos finding an open wide receiver. And that's what Nathan Martins has done this past. I mean, he did it last week. Gets flushed out of the pocket. It's calm, poised, finds the receiver that's open. And he just, whatever the defense gives him, he's going to take it. And he's going to make you pay for it too, especially if you leave a wide receiver open. Really good eyes on the quarterback. 1-10 and counting in the first quarter. Milshew trailing by one point. Missed field goal, 7-6. to six. 10 seconds left on the play clock. We'll have to get a playoff at some point. Here we go. Hand off. Daniel signs up the middle. Daniel signs cuts it back inside. Daniel signs going. Tackled first down mill shoe inside the 20 located at the 19. First and 10 for mill shoe. Big run by Daniel Sines. Great job by the running back. Just cutting it back inside, staying patient, finding your lanes, and doing a really good job of finding the open field, getting the extra yardage that you need. It's done all season. Really, really good job by Daniel Sines. Ramsey Martinez up high, and it's Irvin Torres down low. You got Tate Shipman in motion now, and then Bone Cincinnatos, Shipman at the wing. Here we go. Hand off Daniel Sines. Cuts it, cuts it back up the middle. It's going to drag a couple of cups with him. And it's going to be finally brought down inside the five. That's going to be good enough. 11 yard run on the play. First and goal inside the five. Milshu located at the four. And Milshu's going to let the clock run out in the first quarter. End of the first quarter, Milshu knocking on the door. 7-6 to six as they trail in this one. We'll be right back as we flip sides. You're listening to Channel 6, Milshu. MilshuTV.com, Gillam Advertising Channel 6 live stream broadcast of the Milshu Mules versus Brownfield Cubs football game brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Burton Service Center, Mule Animal Clinic, Vet Supply, Shippen's Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Mule Housing Authority, Mule Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Mule Area Medical Center, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, McCormick Seeds, and Bailey County Farm Bureau, Scott Miller.
Welcome back to the start of your second quarter. Milshi knocking on the door. First and goal inside the five, located at the three. Milshi trails seven to six in this one, sending Irvin towards in motion. Daniel Sines will take it himself, and Daniel Sines will get a touchdown. Three yard run. Daniel Sines, his first of the game. So both of Milshi's touchdowns coming off of. Well, big run in the first quarter. That was by Sebastian Kervin, and then this one by Daniel Sines. And Milshu will go for two on this one. And here comes Sebastian Kervin. Here we go. Sebastian's just going to take it himself. He's going to roll out. It's going to be intercepted, and you're going to have to get a tackle. Blockers on the outside. He's going to finally be tackled. That was number five, George Rivera, and that keeps the score 12 to 7 in favor of Milshu. So we'll be right back with your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Welcome back. 12 to 7 is our score here in Milshu, Texas. Milshu, big turnovers and turning turnovers into points, points is what they're doing. Three yard run by number 21. Daniel Signs kicking it away. It's going to be Aaron Morales. And that kick's going to be a little short kick. And that's going to go into the hands. Can't get a, quite get a number on him. Tackled by Herta Mules. And that was number 88. Caden Moore, who stepped up and just took it himself. Brownfield will set up shop close to midfield in about the 41-yard line. First and 10 for Brownfield. J.J. Martinez is at quarterback, and he's going to hand it off to Gonzalez. Gonzalez is going to be finally met. I'm sorry, that's Gage McPherson, number two in at running back now. Here we go, second down and six. Hand off, McPherson again. McPherson is going to be finally tackled. That's Nick Rays and Davian McMullen on the tackle. Go be a yard shy of the third down. And this is where Milshu would definitely like to get a stop right here. Kind of hoping to get some negative yardage. Maybe question the punt. It's high snap, McPherson. There he goes. And it's going. To, looks like he's going to be a yard shy. They're going to mark him a yard shy. Fourth down and in inches, and if you're Mill Street, you're going to want to get a stop on this one. Go add some points, get a little turnover. Definitely stay disciplined and not cause an offsides. 10.30 left in the second quarter. 12 to 7 is your score. High snap, and that pass is going to be caught. First down, Brownfield. It's JoJo Carlillo, number 7. Clock will continue to run. First and 10 at the Milshu 40 is where the Cubs are located. Hand off McPherson. McPherson is going to get to the outside. It's going to be finally tackled from behind. That's Jaxer Lopez and Ramsey Martinez on the tackle. It's going to be second down and eight for the Cubs. Here we go. Looking. Over the middle, and that's going to be a deep pass that was almost intercepted. That was way over the head of the intended receiver, number 20, Morales. And Ramsey Martinez had a hand on it, and he was just a little bit ahead. He would have gotten it. There's a flag on the play right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be towards the backfield. So flag's going to be on Milshu. And boy, they 
signaled that pretty fast. Usually they congregate together, come out, and then decide uh, what the penalty is. And they already had the ball picked up, and it's going to be roughing the passer on Milshu, so I'm at first down. Second, or first and ten for the Cubs. Martinez sends a man in motion, and here goes number 33. He's back in the game now. It's Josh Gonzalez with the carry. He's going to get a gain of a looks about five. Gain of four. Second down and six for the Cubs. Martinez, low snap, and he's going to find a man wide open over the middle. That's going to be J.J. Curlio, number seven, for the 16-yard touchdown for the Cubs. Kick is going to be blocked. And that's going to be ball still rolling. And it's finally going to be picked up by, looks like Davey McMullen on it. And they're going to say, no good. Keeps the score 13 to 12. So now the Cubs lead, but they only lead by one. We'll be back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe by the Cubs. But touchdown pass number seven that's going to be carlio 16 yard pass from number 11 jj martinez kick is going to be high that's going to go to number 11 it's going to be yahir kazeda yahir getting over the middle so milshu will now have really good ball position set up first and 10 Will be set up at their own 38. And smash and curving back at quarterback. Got Bone Cincinnatus at the top of your screen. Lone receiver Tate Shipman, Irvin Torres. At the bottom of your screen. And that looks to be all. Bad snap. Gonna be a loss of big yards. And that's gonna make it second down and long for the meal shoe meals. And that's not how you want to start your series is in negative yardage. Now you got second and long to go. 81 Ramsey Martinez at the bottom of your screen. Flipping sides with Bone Cincinnatos now at the top of your screen. Same receivers in Tate Shipman, Irvin Torres. Daniel Sainz is going to be to the right of Sebastian Kervin, now moving over to his left side. Here we go. Handoff, and Sebastian's going to be in trouble. He's going to be sacked. That's going to be number 67, Jordan Gonzalez for the Cubs on this big sack. And that is big negative yardage. You got third and a whole nother zip code to go to get the first down. Clock still running, approaching the eight-minute mark in the second quarter. Ten seconds left on the play clock. Now five seconds. And that's going to go out to Ramsey Martinez. Ramsey Martinez is going to make a whole bunch of Cubs miss, and uh, it's going to be caught from the side. will force a fourth down and very 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 long and you got a good chunk of your yardage back it's now fourth and 16 instead of fourth and 25 
Back to receive is going to be number 20. That's going to be Adriano Morales. Kicking it away is number one, Irvin Torres. I'm going to send Ramsey Martinez in motion. And Irvin Torres is going to punt this one away. High, end over end. And that's going to take a little bit of a mill shoe bounce across the 50. Cubs will start in their own territory. Running right about the 46-yard line. So a couple of key mistakes, just bad snap. And then after that, just a big sack for the Cubs. And then that leads you to third and very, very, very long. And uh, definitely don't want to do that if you're Milshew. Milshew would be looking to get a stop on this one. First and 10 for the Cubs. Martinez looking. Martinez getting rid of it. Has a man in stride. And that ball's going to be dropped. That's going to be Budsby. Man, and that ball hit him in the hands. And uh, if you're the Brownfield Cubs, you would definitely look to go back to that one again. Second down and 10. Clock stopped at 7.29. Martinez handoff. No, it's going to be play action over the middle. Intended receivers number 88. That's going to be Caden Moore. So third down and 10. If you're Milch, you would definitely like to kind of keep it that way. Third down, 10, third and long. Force Brownfield to punt it. Not getting any ideas to go for it on fourth down. Brownfield has done that several times this season. Anytime that they're really inside kind of five yards, they've kind of Gone for have been very successful. Martinez, quarterback. Josh Gonzalez is now going to be to the left of him. And little play action. Jaxer Lopez. Ball is going to be tipped up in the air. No good. In and out of the hands of Davian McMullen. Also, there was Ramsey Martinez. And that was a scary pass to make that hit the hands of the Cubs wide receiver, bounced in the air. Looked like I thought Ramsey Martinez caught that one. Bone Cincinnati's back for the punt. And that's going to be a deep punt. And costly mistake by Bone Cincinnati. At that point, you just want to kind of let it just roll at the back of the end zone. Landed at about the 12 and had a really good roll. That sucker was going to roll to the back of the end zone. And oh boy, oh boy, I'm glad that Bone Cincinnati landed on that one. Hit him in the hand. Muffed it, then went to go land on it. So, Mill Shoe first and 10. That will start out. Their own 10-yard line. Got to put some gas in the vehicle. Got to get going on this one. 7-12 left in the second quarter. You would definitely like to get some points on this drive. If you can, stop the Cubs. Turn around and try to score again. And that's going to be false start on Milshew. Uh, I think it's going to be a penalty on the Cubs. The whole defensive line shifted. Now that's going to be false start mill shoe. And boy, that officiating crew came over and talked to the defensive line of the Cubs, and I think he said, "Nah, you can't really do that." So now you're starting your drive off really, really deep into your own territory. It's going to be a handoff to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is going to go nowhere. Gain of one on the play will make it second down and 14.
640 and counting left in this first half of football. Here we go. Handoff once again to Signs. Nowhere to go. Let's say the gain of a few on the play will make it third down and about 11 or 12 for the Mills Shoe Mills. Third down and 11. Lone receiver is going to be Bone Cincineros at the top of your screen. Got a little bunch. Tate Shipman, Ramsey Martinez, Irvin Torres at the bottom of your screen. Here we go. Sebastian Kerman's going to keep it himself and is going to get nowhere on that one. Makes it in between the six again, but now it's fourth and nine. And not exactly how you wanted to start this drive. You're deep in your own territory if... Uh, Mill Shoes had a couple fakes this close to the six before, and uh, I don't know if Brownfield's going to fall for this one. Back to receive. Let me Josh Gonzalez for the Cubs. Evan Torres to punt it away. That's what Evan Torres is going to do. It's going to take a Mill Shoe bounce. Little brownfield flipping the field and uh, forcing the Milshu Mules to punt at their own inside their own end zone keeps it in Milshu territory. Cubs will get a start at the Milshu forty-seven. So here comes the Cubs. J.J. Martinez at quarterback. Just Josh Gonzalez. It's going to be at running back to the right of him. Martinez, handoff. Gonzalez in the backfield. Davian McMullen. Get him back there. That's also number 54. That's going to be Davian Ragsdale. Second down, lost the yard, second and 12. Martinez looking, it's going to get it off. That pass is going to be complete. First down for Brownfield. Pass is caught. That's going to be Carlillo. Josh out in motion. And that's going to be a false start on Brownfield. Now, if you're Brownfield's offense, it's not you want to start off new fresh set of downs. And first and 10 is now first and 15 for 28 left in the second quarter. Brownfield does lead 13 to 12. Clock will now run. Martinez takes a snap. Play action. Looking, flushed out of the pocket, and is going to pass it deep downfield, and that's going to be caught. Number 88, Caden Moore on the reception. It's going to go out of bounds. Not going to reach the 10. They're going to mark him out at about the 12. So first and 10 for Brownfield inside the red zone. Martinez, high snap, handoff to Josh Gonzalez. Josh Gonzalez is going to be met at the line. Ramsey Martinez, Davian McMullen on the tackle. I'm sorry, it's 22. No, it can too. So, clock now, 340 and counting in the second quarter. Milshu desperate to get a stop on this drive. Definitely keeping points out of Brownfield. Try to go down and score before the half. And here we go. That's going to be Josh Gonzalez. And he's going to be finally tackled. Gain of a couple on the play. Clock now approaching the 3 minute 10 second mark. And 
Brownfield burning as much time as they can. Try to keep the ball in Milshu's hands. Milshu will receive the ball to start the second half of play. And timeout. Brownfield. 2.45 left in the second quarter. 12 to 13 is your score here in Milshu, Texas. We'll be right back. Welcome back after that timeout break. Brownfield taking timeout. 13 to 12 is your score in favor of the Cubs. Martinez sending Josh Gonzalez out of motion. It's going to be a pass over the middle, and that goes out of the back of the end zone. Fourth down. Milshu looking to get a stop on this one. And I think Brownfield's going to attempt a an, uh, field goal. Yahir Mendoza to attempt the 17 yard field goal. I'm sorry, it's going to be the 18 yard field goal. And kick's going to be down, up, and it is good. So the field goal attempt is good by Yadhir Mendoza, and that makes it 16-12 to 12 in favor of the Cubs. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Welcome back. Field goal attempt is good for the Cubs. 16-12 to 12 is your score. 12-41 left in the second quarter. J.D. Vasquez to kick it away. And that ball is going to be high. And that's going to go into the hands of number 11 yacht here. Kazeda. Kazeda getting it out. Not a whole lot of yardage, but good field position. You got two minutes, 36 seconds to go down and score a touchdown. Take a lead before the half in the momentum. Come back out and... Uh, Get the ball again, and you would definitely love to have the lead if you're Milshu in this one going into halftime. First and 10 for Milshu, and uh, you want to stay penalty free, turnover free on this first snap of this drive. Try to get some positive yardage to start your first down. Daniel signs now to the right of Sebastian Kervin. Wide receivers are stacked on top of each other. And that's going to be Bone Cincinnatos with the catch, and he's going to get on the outside edge. It's going to be forced out of bounds. And there's going to be a flag on the play. That was kind of the area where the catch happened, and uh, I don't know what the officiating crew saw or didn't really see anything. So face mask on Brownfield. And if you're Brownfield, that's not the mistake you want to make. 229 left in the second quarter. Now Milshu is in Cub territory. At the 42-yard line of the Cubs, this is where Milshu will set up for this new fresh set of downs. First and 10, Sebastian Covering Company looking off to the sideline. Judas Reyes, Irvin Torres, Bone Cincinnatos, your receivers at the bottom of your screen in order. Then lone receivers, Ramsey Martinez, Daniel signs to the right of Sebastian Curvin, your quarterback. Here we go, Bone Cincinnatos, catch, little bubble, and driving forward. Big gain on the play. Make it second down and five for the Mill Shoe Mills. Clock still running, 150 and counting. And 15 seconds left on the play clock. Bone Cincinnatus once again. And he's going to break one tackle, 
and not break the second one. It'll be about a yard or two shy of the first down, third down, and it looks to be one timeout meal shoe. 16 to 12, 122 left in the second quarter. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. In the second quarter, Milshu trying to get a score before halftime. They trail by four in this one. Here we go. Sebastian Kerman is going to keep it himself. Ball is going to come out as he spins, and that's going to go right into the hands of number 30, Tristan Martinez. Brownfield Cubs come up with a big turnover. Over your mill, she would definitely like to kind of return the favor, get a big turnover. Martinez looking. Martinez in trouble. Martinez will be flushed down, and he's going to toss it up in the air. And that ball is going to be caught. Adriano Morales on the reception, and he's going to be down at the Milshu sideline. Looks like it's going to be an injury. We will take an injury timeout. We will be right back. Adriano Morales, who's down at the sideline, was able to get up on his own. Kind of skipped off the field. First and 10 for Brownfield, still locating their own territory. It's going to be Martinez, who's going to be in trouble. He's going to have to get rid of it. And here we go. Number seven off to the races. And he's going to be forced out of bounds. There's going to be a flag on the play. And that one's going to be coming back. Flag on Brownfield. Let's see what it is. One minute exactly left in the second quarter. Milshu will be receiving the ball to start the second half. She has two timeouts left, if I remember correctly. This penalty on Brownfield will take him back first and about 20. Martinez, that quarterback to the right of him, is going to be Josh Gonzalez. And here we go. Martinez heaving it deep, and Ramsey Martinez is there. Ball's uncatchable, so no penalty on the play. Caden Moore, the intended receiver. Brings up second down and 20 with 50 seconds left in the second quarter. And here we go. False start. Second and 20 will now be second and 25. If you're Milshu, you don't want to have any penalties. You don't want to do anything to give this yardage back to Brownfield. You definitely want to try to get the ball back as soon as possible. Two timeouts left. We'll give you that chance. So now you got Josh Gonzalez and McPherson in the backfield. Here we go. Hand off McPherson. McPherson is going to get outside the reach of a mill shoe mill. It's going to be finally tackled out of bounds. McPherson, big gain on the play, but you're just taking off chunk yards that you can. And uh, at this point, it's going to be third down and 25. They're down 25 for the Cubs. Don't let anything get behind you if you're the mill shoe secondary. J.J. Martinez does have an arm on him, and here we go. And that ball is going to be caught. So it's going to be Busby on the catch, 
And now Brownfield's going to take a timeout with 39 seconds left. First and 10 for the Cubs, and we will take a timeout break also. Big catch by Busby. Takes Brownfield into Milshu territory. First and 10 with 39 seconds Seconds left in the second quarter, 12 to 16 is your score in this one. The Cubs do lead the Mules. Martinez looking, going deep again. And that ball is just going to be outside the reach. Budsby, the intended receiver, stopped the clock at 33 seconds. And that one has kind of been there all night for Brownfield. Budsby has been really, really fast off of the line and just finding a way to get a couple yards out ahead of the uh, cornerback for Milshew. And it wouldn't surprise me if they try to go that one again. Second down and 10 for the Cubs. Here we go. Pass over the middle, and that's going to be incomplete. Pass broken up by Davian McMullen. Stops the clock at 29 seconds, third down and 10. Jaden Gonzalez in now at wide receiver. And looks like it's going to be an empty backfield for the Cubs coming out and gun Martinez all by himself. And uh, Brownfield's going to take their final timeout. Third and 10, 29 seconds left in the second quarter. Brownfield leads 16 to 12. We will also take a timeout too. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. 29 seconds left in the second quarter, 16 to 12 in favor of the Brownfield Cubs. Third down and 10, empty backfield Martinez. Looking, going deep once again, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown, 32-yard touchdown. And that's going to be number 88, Caden Moore. Gives Brownfield the big lead before halftime, 22 to 12. Kick is going to be up and through the uprights. Good. 23-12, 23 seconds left in the second quarter. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. 32-yard pass by number 11. That was J.J. Martinez connecting with Caden Moore for the big touchdown. Makes the score 23-12 to in favor of the Cubs just a little bit before Half, and this ball's going to be in and out of the hands of Noah Cantu, and he's just going to land on it. If you're this Milshoe offense, you definitely want to kind of focus and get reorganized flag at the top of your screen towards the Brownfield sideline. And let's see what the call is. It'll be a personal foul. Looks like blind side on the mule shoe mules, which is definitely not what you want. And now good field position is going to take you back and you're going to start inside the 30. They're going to mark them right at the 20. So Milshew, 80 yards to go with 22 seconds. A few timeouts left for the Mules. And uh, Sebastian Kirvin in that quarterback. And this is where you look to Irvin Torres. Irvin Torres, not a whole lot of action for him so far. It's going to be Daniel Sines on the carry. Daniel Sines is going to break free. Oh, my goodness. There he goes. Makes a man miss. 
Makes another man miss. 80 yards. Is he going to go to the house? And he does. No flags on the play. What an answer for Milshu. Nine seconds left in the second quarter. Makes the score 18 to 23. And Milshu will more than likely go for two on this one. Daniel Sines just took it himself, broke a few tackles, and found some open real estate for the big 80-yard touchdown. Makes the score 18-23. Sebastian Curvin, they're looking to cut into this lead with the two-point conversion. Here we go. Pass is going to be no good. Batted down by George Rivera. Keeps the score 18-23, and you... Hope that those points don't come back and bite you. Milshu will kick it away. We'll be right back with your kickoff where you are listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Welcome back. Big touchdown by Milshu. 23 to 18 as they trail. Nine seconds left in the second quarter. 80 yard touchdown by number 21, Daniel Sines. And it was a strong run for him, man. He just did not give up broke tackles cut inside outside all around found open real estate for a big big momentum touchdown before halftime Mills just gonna kick it deep and that's going to go in and out of the hands of number five but he's going to finally take it himself and he's going to be tackle ball is out and Mills who got it four seconds left in the second quarter wow George Rivera took it, and there's going to be a flag on the play, and that's going to be towards the sideline of Brownfield. And you really hope this one's on Brownfield. That's going to move the ball even closer. Gives you one chance for one big play for Milshu. And the question is, is do you knee it? Do you take it down, take it to halftime with the momentum on your side, or do you try to heave one down go score or maybe even give it to daniel signs or i mean you got multiple weapons on this mill shoe offense between the wide receivers and also sebastian Curvin can run it himself so it looks like it's gonna be offsetting penalties a personal foul on Well, personal foul on the Cubs, and then uh, another penalty on Milshu. Oh, they're saying offsides on Milshu, and that's going to be a re-kick. And Coach is definitely not happy about that one because that flag came in way after the kick was done. But the personal foul on the personal foul on Brownfield will be added on. So Milshu will kick instead of from the 40, they'll kick from the 50. I think Coach was asking why the flag for the offsides came way after the kick was kicked. Because I didn't see a flag down there. So four seconds left in the second quarter, and we will re-kick this one. Talk about taking the air out of the tires. Uh... Everyone is kind of questioning everything. And Milshu had all the momentum, and you still kind of feel that momentum. Big, big run by Daniel Signs, and then just kind of a turnaround on everything. You think that you get a fumble recovery, get the ball back before the half ends, and now you're having to re kick it. And it looks like Irvin Torres was going to. Uh, attempt the kick and I think they're just going to onside it and that's going to go out to 53 one second left and uh, I think Brownfield might come out and just need this one and if you're Mills you can't hang your head on that one that was a really good heads up play just 
finding the ball, but unfortunately that you were off sides on that kickoff and you got to go into halftime feeling good about this one, taking a really good undefeated team. Only down by not not too much in this one. 23 to 18 is your score. And Brownfield's going to need go to halftime. As they go to halftime, so when we, you're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. Halftime here at Benny Douglas Football Stadium at the Mule Shoe versus the Brownfield football game. Thanks for joining our live stream. And we'll have the Mighty and Marching Band along with the Brownfield Band performances from halftime coming up in just a few seconds. Our live stream broadcast is brought to you by Leal's Tortilla Factory, Barrett Produce, Burton Service Center, Mule Shoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supplies, Shipments Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Edward Jones, Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, McCormick Seeds, and Bailey County Farm Bureau, Scott Miller.
racers are really finding their groove. Welcome back to your second half of Brownfield versus Milshoe. 23 to 18 is your score in favor of the Cubs. Milshoe to receive the kickoff to start this second half of football. Kicking it away is going to be J.D. Vasquez. Back to receive is going to be 
Judas Reyes and then also Daniel Sines. That's just going to be a little pooch kick. Go go out to, it uh, looks like number 10, Davian Gonzalez. So Milshu will set up shop their own 39 yard line, first and 10. Good field position to really start this second half of football. Milshu taking the momentum into halftime, I think. I believe it's so. Big, big 80 yard run by Daniel Sines. To bring it to 18 to 23, two point attempt was no good. And then Milshu on the kickoff uh, had it called back. Daniel signs on the carry, and he's going to break a couple of tackles, get on the outside edge, and there he goes. Oh my goodness, I thought he was about to break another tackle. That is a big, big 15 yard run. 14 yard run, I'm sorry. He'll make it first and 10 for Milshu. New set of downs. Sebastian Kermans, your quarterback to the right of him is going to be, looks like Uriel Vasquez is out there now. And pass is going to go deep. And that's just outside the reach of Bone Cincinnatus. Stops the clock at 1130. I'll be Milshu's first incompletion of the game. Judas Reyes at the top of your screen, the lone receiver down in the bunch is going to be Irvin Torres, Bone Cincinnatus, and Ramsey Martinez. Daniel signs to the left of Sebastian Covering. Here comes the blitz for Brownfield, and they are going to hit Daniel Signs. Down signs just going to keep on rolling. Big chunky yardage. Looks like gain of four on the play. Clock continuing to run. If you're Milshu, you definitely want to go down, score on this one, take the lead, keep the momentum going for you. Well, gain of three, third down and seven. Twenty seconds left on the play clock. Coach not liking what he sees. Sebastian Curving communicating with his team now. Signs to the right of him. Here we go. Sebastian rolling out is going to get a pass. And that ball is going to be intercepted. That's going to be number three, Jaden Gonzalez. It's going to be the third turnover for the Brownfield defense. It's going to be the second interception of the game. No, sorry. It's the first interception. The other two were fumbles. First and ten for Brownfield. And that's going to be handed off to number seven, Carlillo, who's going to go up the right side. A little jet sweep. Good yardage for the Cubs. About a yard or two shy of the first down. We'll make it second down and about one. Here we go. Hand off up the middle, and that's going to go nowhere. That's going to be Josh Gonzalez on the carry, and he's going to be stuffed. They're going to give him a yard, though. First down. Definitely thought he was hit at the 40. Just didn't have nowhere to go. They're going to give him the yard on that one. Fresh set of downs for Brownfield. Here we go. Hand off again. Gonzalez is going to get a few on that one. So it'll be tax, tackle Jaxer Lopez. No can to Davian McMullen on that one. Second down and six for the Cubs. Here we go. Play action over the middle. Pass is just outside of the reach of number seven, the intended receiver, Jojo Carlillo. Stops the clock at 9.58 in the third quarter. Third and six for the Brownfield Cubs. J.J. Martinez 
Rolling back is going to get it out. And that ball's intercepted. That's going to be a pick six to the house. And that is... That's going to be Ramsey Martinez, number 81. Wow, and he read that perfectly. He went in, caught that, and boy, oh boy, you're not going to catch him whenever he starts running. That kid is fast, and that's what Milshu needed. Milshu takes the lead, 24-23, and let's see. They're going to attempt the extra point. Irvin Torres out to kick. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. 25-23, 9-49 in the third quarter. There's a big interception to the house by Ramsey Martinez. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Twenty-five, twenty-three. your score in the third quarter, 9-49 left. Big, 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 big run, or I'm sorry, it's a pick six to the house. And basically sprinting to the <laughs> to the end zone was Ramsey Martinez, kids fast. And that was a big momentum shit. That's going to be another turnover for the Milshu defense. Turnovers are squared up. Three and three for both teams tonight. And if you're Milshu, that's... Really, really, really good turning turnovers into points, and that helps the momentum shift. That kind of puts second thoughts in the quarterback's head, and something big like that can definitely change the outcome of a game. Kick goes out of bounds. It's going to be first and 10 for Brownfield. They're going to start at the 45. Martinez, quarterback, Josh Gonzalez is the running back. And handoff to Gonzalez. Jackson Lopez in the backfield for the tackle. There he is. The man eats all season. Goes dry for the first half of this game. And finally gets in the backfield. Tackle for loss for the Milshoe defense. Second down and 11. Here we go. In trouble is Martinez. He's going to roll out and he's going to have to get rid of it. No good outside the tackle box, so he's good on that pass. Third and 11. And this mill shoot defense, once the momentum gets going, and that defensive line is just going to eat up. Jaxer Lopez was chasing him down along with the other three guys in the backfield. No, Cantu coming from the backside. Here we go. Number 11's looking, and he's going to miss his receiver. That was 33, Josh Gonzalez. And Milshu forces a three and out after a pick six and the defense eight on this series. Fourth and 11 for the Cubs, and here comes the Cubs punt team. Playing it away is going to be number 20. It's going to be Adriano Morales. Back to receive should be number three, Bone Cincineros. And this kick got to leg. Snap is high. And that kick's going to go end over end. I think you just let it go if you're mill shoe. Lands at about the 31. We'll roll to the 24. So now mill shoe with all the momentum on their side. And uh, I think you're going to have a nice little methodical drive. Mill shoe doing it all season. They're just driving downfield, burning a lot of clock as they go. Good bounce of the pass and the run is what the offense has produced this season so far. And really quiet is the pass game, honestly. I mean, you, you've you had some pretty big passes out there, but, I mean, you got Irvin Torres, whose name really has been called, not even really last week either. Well, first and 10, Sebastian Kirvin and company out on the field. Lone receiver up high. Three receivers at the bottom of your screen. Handoff, Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is just going to pull forward. And once again, a gain of three. 
consistent three, four, sometimes a five yard run, and that sets you up for a second down and very manageable for Mealshoe. And that's what Daniel Signs does. You give him the ball and he'll get you down second down and you know six, five, four. And does a really, really good job. Second down and seven for Mealshoe on this one. Irvin Torres makes one man miss. It's going to be tackled from behind, but he's going to get a little chunk of yardage. Gain of a couple. Make it third and four. So third and four, and you got honestly a lot of options. You could expect to pass. Brownfield stacking the box. The safety is pressed forward. I wonder if you expect a blitz. Coach yelling on the sideline to flip around, flip around. That's what they're going to do. Got eight seconds left on the play clock. You're going to have to get the snap off very, very fast. And here we go deep to Irvin Torres, and that's going to be a flag. I thought Irvin Torres was going to catch that for a second there. <laughs> he had to hold the ball and finally let go of it, and that's going to be a pass interference on Brownfield, and that's definitely not what you want. So the pass interference on... Brownfield should be a fresh set of downs. Be first and 10 for Milshi. Let's see where they spot the ball. Spotted right at the 45. So fresh set of downs for Milshi. First and 10. Sebastian Curvin's out there. Daniel Sines is out there. No, Nathan Martins is out there, quarterback. Sebastian Kervin is going to be in the wing set. I've seen this before last year. Watch Sebastian Kervin come over to him. Now it's handoff to Daniel Sines, and he's going to be hit hard. Only a gain of one or two on that play. I'm going to take you back to last year. Sebastian Kervin in the wing. Man, block, release, over the middle. He's a big target. And I tell you what, he's had multiple targets whenever teams press forward like Brownfield's doing. And then all of a sudden, he's gone to the house. He's a fast kid, too. So Nathan Martin's at quarterback. 7.05 left in the third quarter. Milshu leads 25-23. Handoff Daniel Sines. Going to put his shoulder down and is going to get a few more yards. So third down. It's going to be about third down and six. Here we go. Brownfield press forward once again, stacking the box. That's going to go out to number three, Bone Cincinnatos. And they're going to say no catch, and I saw it too. It bounced off the turf, and he turned around and almost made a spectacular catch. Oh, Bone Cincinnatos just a hair too late on the turn to get the pass, and that was not the best place of passes for Nathan Martins, but it was pretty close, and it was something that Bone Cincinnatos could work with, but then he turned around a little too late. Irvin Torres to punt it away. And that's a booming punt right into the hands of number three, and you're going to have to get him down fast. It's going to make one man miss. There's going to be a flag on the play, and that's going to be negative yardage for the Cubs. That's number seven. That's going to be Jojo Carlillo. And that kid's fast, too, and it's going to be a block in the back for the Cubs. I saw that one from a mile away. So not what you wanted if you were Brownfield. Now you got to go back. And it's going to be holding on Brownfield. 
both both line judges saw that one. 6-13 left in the third quarter. 25-23. Milshu leads this one. And the momentum filled Milshu defense is on the field. And uh, anything can happen at this point. Once this Milshu defense gets going, man, they are hungry. They are eating. They are savages out there. Lots of forced turnovers on the season. And these guys are really, really fast to the ball. The pursuit's really well. And Especially when they're winning, when the momentum's on their side, these guys really get going. They feed off of each other. J.J. Martinez saying a man in motion. And there's going to be a flag. There's going to be a free play. And tackled is Caden Moore. And it's going to be offsides. I wonder where it came from. I didn't really see offsides. I think, yeah, it's going to be a false start on Brownfield. I think someone wasn't lined up correctly. I didn't really see anything that was out of the ordinary. And once again, you know, any any time you're in offense out on the field, you're first and ten, gang going on the drive, and the momentum just gets sucked out of you on the even the false start five yards back, first and fifteen. That definitely affects the whole entire series right here. Here we go. It's gonna be Carlio with the carry, and it's gonna be a jet sweep again. He's gonna go nowhere. Holy smokes, that's gonna be Yahir Kazeda in the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Attack for loss. Second and 16. Loss of a yard on the play. Keeps the clock running. 525 and counting. Martinez is going to look. He's going to go over the middle. That ball was almost intercepted. Oh, no. Davy McMullen is coming up with it. They're saying that the ball is down. I thought he caught that one. They're going to review. They're going to talk to the side judge, but there's. Yep, Milshu's ball. One judge came over and said no, the ball's down. The other two said no, he caught it. That was amazing by David McMullen, number zero. Another turnover. So here comes the Milshu offense, and there's going to be a flag on the play. And I'm trying to put together what that one is. And sports and like conduct on Milshu. And the that was a quick pull on the trigger for the officiating crew on that one. The line stepped together and then the flag was immediately pulled out and thrown. So something was said. So a sportsman-like conduct, another penalty on Milshu. So two unsportsmanlike penalties, you know. First, like I said before, you don't want to get outside the six. Now you're first and 20. It should be first and 20, not first and 25. I think that's what they're trying to figure out. Unless if my math is wrong. Now it'll be first and 25 for Milshu. Here we go. Nathan Martin's handoff is going to go to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is fighting forward. Big gain on the play and gain back the yardage that she lost. Still, still shy of the yard markers. Second down and long for Milshu. Clock running 450 and counting in the third quarter. Nathan Martin's in at quarterback. Sebastian Curvin is out at the wide receiver position right now. 
Here we go. Nathan Martin's in trouble, and, and he's going to be sacked in the backfield. So Milshu now going backwards once again. And I think you got to do something here. This is definitely more than likely four down territory, especially if you can get inside the back inside the sticks again on this next play. Clock continuing to run. 4-10 and counting down. 25-23 your score. Milshu leads this one. Low snap. Nathan Martins picks it up and he's going to heave it. That pass is going to be not caught. Hits the ground. Sebastian Curvin, the intended receiver. Nathan Martins, the man who makes something out of nothing a lot of times, on, especially on stuff like that. Did it last week a few times and it's going to be fourth down. And here comes the punt team. Don't want to say it, but don't put it past Milshu to go for it. Irvin Torres is a really fast kid, and we've seen him out this far from the sticks, and they've converted fourth downs this long off of a fake punt before, several times actually on this season. And they're just going to really high punt. And that's going to land out there, and Davian McMullen is going to get the tackle. So Brownfield will start once again inside the 20. They're going to start at the 17. So here we go. 3.42 left in the third quarter. Brownfield trails 23-25. J.J. Martinez is out there in this middle shoot defense. Two turnovers on this second half of play. And here we go. That's going to be hit hard. That's Gage McPherson on the run. Heard a meals on the tackle. Gain of one on the play makes it second down and nine. Martinez. Deep pass. And that ball's going to be intercepted. Judas Reyes. They're saying no interception. They're saying the ball. What? Oh, the sideline is ecstatic right now. They are upset on that one. Judas Reyes pulled it in, tucked over, and they're saying that the ball popped out. They're saying the ball popped out and hit the ground. Third down and nine. And that was a third turnover. What was going to be a third turnover in this second half for the Cubs. Martinez looking. Martinez in trouble. Martinez flushed out of the pocket. And he's going to heave it deep. Oh, Judas Reyes again. Almost. Oh, man, that one's so good. Fourth down, and I think if you're Brownfield, you punted away. The great effort by this meal shoot defense to turn around that they had in the second half. These passes were going over the safeties, over the cornerbacks, to these open receivers. Milshu made the adjustment at halftime and now have efficient coverage for their team. And, oh, well... The offense is still on the field. They got four seconds in there. Brownfield's going to have to burn a timeout on miscommunication. Fourth and nine. Coaches not happy for the Cubs. Having to burn a timeout. 314 left in the third quarter. 25-23 mil shoe leads. We will take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to Channel 6 Mill Shoe. In the third quarter, fourth and nine. Brownfield pending it away. Back to receive his bone, Cincinnatos. And that punt's going to go side to side. Looks like a dead duck running through the air, floating through the air. It's going to land at the Milshu 45. So first and 10 for Milshu. 
defense is the story for Milshi in the second half. A uh, pick six gives him the lead. Offense is not doing too bad, just little penalties, stuff like that. It's just kind of blowing out the momentum. Nathan Martin's at quarterback. Sebastian Kervin's out at wide receiver. Ramsey Martinez, Irvin Torres at the top of your screen, along with Sebastian Kervin. At the bottom is Bone Cincinnatus. And once again, Brownfield just pressed forward. Here we go. Deep pass to Bone Cincinnatus. Bone Cincinnatus comes up with it. Big completion. Nathan Martins. Oh, my goodness. Nathan Martins was out on the edge, almost getting a sack. And injury timeout. Injury on the field for the Cubs. And uh, as we take an injury timeout, or as they take an injury timeout, so will we. We'll be right back. Welcome back. First and 10. A big, big, big catch by Bone Cincinnatus. And Sebastian Kervin is going to. Uh, they're blowing the play dead. Flag on the field. And I wonder if the wide receivers were not set to type your screen. Yep. False start on Milshu. First and 15. Two fifty left in the third quarter. 25-23 is your score in favor of Milshu. Milshu looking to add to their current lead. Nathan Martins at quarterback. 21 Daniel Sainz is going to be to the right of him. Bone Cincinnatus, lone receiver at the top. No, I'm sorry. Ramsey Martinez, the lone receiver at the top of your screen. And that's going to be a free play. Well, offsides on Brownfield now. Moves it back first and 10 instead of first and 15 for the Mills. Penalties, 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 the name of this series so far. Sebastian Kervin, it looks like. Bone Cincinnatus, Irvin Torres, the bomb for your screen for wide receivers. Ramsey Martinez, the lone receiver, the top of your screen. And once again, Sebastian Kervin, really, really tall target. Uh, Safeties are pushed forward. Daniel signs with the carry, and he's going to lunge forward. Big gain on the play, gain of four. Make it second down and six. Once again, Daniel signs doing Daniel signs things. You know, chopping away at the yardage. Gain of three, gain of four, gain of five. Does it all game, every game just about. And that's how Milshu is so successful. They run the ball, get big chunk yardage like that, keep that clock running, keep the ball out of the opponent's hands and keeps your defense on the sideline well rested here we go nathan martin's in trouble and he's going to have to get upfield and he somehow does gain of one on the play i are going to say no gain now third down and six Brownfield kind of mixing it up, pressing the box, and you don't know who's coming this time. Kind of sending different linebackers each time, even bringing up the safety for some blitzes too. Brownfield showing blitz, and here it comes. It's going to be out. That's going to be Sebastian Kerman who's going to take it. It's going to be good enough for a first down, and... Uh, Tangled up was <laughs> a referee tangled up in the backfield, too. He's doing good. He got up on his own. First and 10. 125 and counting in the third quarter. 25-23 in favor of Milshu. Ball's at the 16-yard line. Here we go. Nathan Martin's handoff to Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines puts his head down, and he's going to get a, another chunk of yardage. There he goes. Think gain of three. Make it second down and seven. There's chunk play after chunk play, and... Uh, and here, you really don't see Milshu pass a whole lot. You definitely see Milshu kind of 
do a little bit RPO and rely on the run a little bit more on that option. Here we go. Danielson. Now it's going to be Nathan Martins who's going to be sacked in the backfield. And Brownfield's just mixing it up. They're sending blitzers from the middle linebackers. They're pressing the safety. They're switching players in and out. And uh, Brownfield's doing a really good job of kind of keeping up with the, the quarterback. Definitely have a quarterback spy. He's hovered right there in the middle back and forth. And Nathan Martins has had nowhere to go really on any play. Yeah, it looks like Milshi is going to let this one go, finish out the third quarter, take their lead and flip sides, and that's what they're going to do. End of the third quarter, 25-23, in favor of your Milshu Mills. We're going to flip sides. We'll be right back. MuleshoeTV.com, Gillam Advertising Channel 6 live stream broadcast of the Muleshoe Mules versus Brownfield Cubs football game brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Burton Service Center, Muleshoe Animal Clinic, Vet Supply, Shippens Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, McCormick Seeds, and Bailey County Farm Bureau, Scott Miller. Start of your fourth quarter. Milshu leads 25 23, third and 12. Ball at the 18. Nathan Martin's in trouble, need to get rid of it. And that ball is at the feet of Irvin Torres. And it looked like it just got away from Nathan Martin's. You got 12 yards to get the first down, and you're going to go for it here on fourth. I don't know what happened on that one. Fourth and 12, Mill shoot out. Four wide receivers set to the top of your screen, two at the bottom. Ramsey, Martinez, Irvin, Torres at the bottom. Sebastian, Kervin, and Bone Cincinnatos at the top. Brownfield press forward, showing blitz, and they're going to bring it. Irvin, Torres deep. Irvin, Torres caught it. Touchdown, 18 yards pass from Nathan Martins. Touchdown, Milshu. Wow, what a what a heads up play by Irvin Torres. Now he's gonna attempt the extra point. Eleven forty four left in the fourth quarter. And kick is gonna be up, and it is Good. 32-23. Milshu adds insurance to their lead. And we'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. 11.44 left in the fourth quarter. 32-23. Nathan Martin's pass. 
Out to Irvin Torres, big 18-yard touchdown on fourth down, might I add. Kicking it away. It's going to be Irvin Torres. That ball is going to land right in front of number five. That's George Rivera. And George Rivera is going to run into his own player, and that's not going to help him out at all. Herd of white and black jerseys. So now Brownfield looking for answers. Brownfield has not scored since the second quarter. Back at 23 seconds left in the second quarter. Milshu turned around, scored on a 80-yard run. My Daniel Signs turned around and scored again on the pick six and then just scored just now in the fourth quarter. Here we go, first and 10 for Brownfield. J.J. Martinez, handoff. No, it's going to be a pass over the middle, and that's going to be complete. Caden Moore on the catch. You're going to see more of that one, no pun intended. He's a big target that's out there, and... Brownfield's been trying to get him going for this second half of football, and here we go. Mar Martinez in trouble. Jaxer Lopez, Noah Kentu, 22 in the backfield. Clock still running, approaching the 11-minute mark left in this ball game. Brownfield trails 32-23. Man in motion. Martinez looking. Martinez is going to go deep. Netball is caught. What a heads up play. That was number eight, Busby. And he turned around on a dime, recognized where his feet was. What an athletic move by the wide receiver for Brownfield. First and 10 for Brownfield into Milshu territory. Big pass on the play by J.J. Martinez. J.J. Martinez, high snap. J.J. Martinez in trouble. No, it can't do behind him. It's going to have to get the pass off outside of the reach of Vervin Torres. That was almost another interception for the Milshu defense. Clock stopped at 10.49. And this is where Milshu starts getting real dangerous. They are timing the middle linebackers are timing. That's Davian McMullen and Noah Cantu. Here comes Jackson Lopez. That ball is going to be deep. It's going to be caught. Complete. Jaden Gonzalez down at the five. They're going to mark him at the seven. First and goal for the Cubs. Here we go. And that's going to be a keeper and nowhere to go. Ezekiel Hino's son, the tackle. Loss of yards makes it second and goal at the 11 now. Here we go, Martinez looking to his right. Now looking to his left, he's in trouble. He's got to get rid of it. Touchdown, 88, Caden Moore. 10.01 left in the fourth quarter. Brownfield will score, makes it 29-32 in favor of the Mules. Here you go. Cubs are going to go for two. They're going to roll out, and he is in trouble. Martinez is going to have to get rid of it, and he finally does. And they're going to say, good. I thought he landed out of bounds. The two-point conversion by no other 88, Caden Moore again. So that makes the score 31-32. Milshu still leads in this one. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. 11-yard passing touchdown. Caden Moore doing it himself.
getting the touchdown and also getting the two-point conversion makes it 31-32 in favor of Milshew. Little pooch kick's going to go out to Yahir. Yahir's going to go. Yahir's going to be finally tackled. There's going to be a flag at the middle of the field. And I don't know who this is going to be on. I saw a brownfield cub just kind of duck down. It looked like a chop block, but I also saw some holding there too. So holding, yeah, they're going to call the holding on Milshu. Uh, clock is running, and I think they're going to try to get it reset. It's going to take Milshu. Milshu will start out in their own territory. Now they're going to get the game clock reset. Looking like about 10 seconds or so ran off on this one. So, Milshu's offense definitely needing the score on this one. Momentum swinging back and forth. I think momentum is still in Milshu's favor mostly in this one. Defense just kind of giving up big chunk yard plays on that one. First and 10 for the Mills. They're going to try to get the game clock reset. The Milshu. Allowing the score for Brownfield is the first score that Brownfield has had in this second half of play. Low snap. Nathan Martin needs to land on it, and he does. Big loss of yardage. That's not what you want to start the drive, and now the momentum shifts to Brownfield. You can feel it right here. 941, and the clock will run on this one. Now the fishing crew is there we go. Crowds cheering, let's go, meal shoe. Second and uh forever for the meals. They need to get up to the forty nine on the other side of the field, currently located at the thirty or I'm sorry, they're located at the twenty six. It's going to be Irvin Torres who's going to take it. Irvin Torres is fast, and he's going to put his helmet down before set of bounds at about the 40. It gets you back for a good chunk of yardage. He'll make it third down, and you got about 12 to go. Clock stopped at 9.14. Nathan Martin's looking, and he's going to pass it deep. Has an open Irvin Torres. Irvin Torres makes one man miss, and his shoelace tackled. From downtown, Nathan Martin's from the 39. Milshu will get pushed up to about the 21, and who says Milshu doesn't get big chunk yardage too? First and 10, fresh set of downs for the Mills and the Cubs gain some subs in and out as fast as they can before the Mill Street offense can get the ball off. First and 10. Martins looking. Ball is snapped and is in and out of his hands. Just kind of a mishandle. And once again, another first down. And, man, negative yardage. And that just kills you on the drive. The momentum you have. And now you got second down and long. About second and 16 or 15. Second and 15 is what it's going to be. Ramsey Martinez. Irvin Torres at the bottom of your screen. Bone Cincinnatos at the top of your screen. And here we go in the wing is Sebastian Kervin. 
Pascal go out to Irvin Torres. Irvin Torres is going to make one man miss, and he's going to hang on for dear life and finally tackles him. And that's going to be unnecessary roughness. Eight oh four left in the ball game. Clock stops. It's unnecessary roughness on Brownfield. And if you're Brownfield's defense, that's not what you want to do. That's going to be a fresh set of downs for the Mules, and that's going to push the ball inside the twenty. Inside the twenty. Inside the fifteen. It should be a fresh set of downs. So first and 10 for Milshoe. Milshoe now knocking on the door. 804 left in this one. They lead 32 31. Here we go. Handoff. Daniel signs, and he's going to get a few yards on the play. And they're going to give him a gain of one. We're not even going to give him that. They're going to say no gain. Second and 10 for Milshoe. Oh, boy, it seems like he leaned forward and got a couple yards on that one, but they're not going to give it to Daniel Sines. 7.30 left in the ball game. Sebastian Curvin's at the wing at the left side to the right of Nathan Martins. Your quarterback's going to be Daniel Sines. Nathan looking, pass. Sebastian Kervin is he's going to be tackled. Oh, my goodness, a shoelace tackle. And Sebastian had a lot of real estate in front of him. It's going to be third down and about seven. Third down and six. And this is four down territory right here. Definitely would love to get the first down right here. Fans are on their feet. 6.50 left in the ball game. Milshu leads 32-31. Nathan Martins, play action over the middle. Touchdown, Milshu Irvin Torres. That's going to be a 10-yard pass from Nathan Martins. Nathan Martins took a big hit at the end of that. I'm surprised that there was no penalty on that one. He was hit really hard, and that was way after the throw. Makes it 38-31. Attempting extra points going to be Irvin Torres. Irvin Torres, another touchdown for him. And that kick is going to be good. 39 31, 633 left in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back with your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Mill Shoe. Welcome back. 10-yard pass from Nathan Martins to Irvin Torres over the middle. Irvin Torres just left wide open, makes it 39-31 after Irvin Torres did it on himself on that one, kicking the PAT also. Kick is going to be high, and looks like number 88, Caden Moore, is going to take it, and he's going to get out, and another flag on the field, and... I wonder if this one's offsides. It's going to be right in that area. So the offsides will bring the ball up to the 49, first and 10 for the Cubs. And this Milshu defense, waving to the crowd, said pump up the noise. Excited to be on the field, and here they come. Deep pass is going to go out, and that ball is just outside the reach, over the head, out of bounds. That's going to be Busby, the intended receiver on the play.
Makes it second down. Clock stopped at 624. Second down, 10 for Brownfield. Martinez handoff is going to go to Josh. Josh Gonzalez. Gain of a couple. Gain of three. Third down and seven. Here we go. Defense, defense is what the fans are yelling. And Martinez is in trouble. He's going to have to get rid of it. He's going to be tackled. Ball is out. And they're going to say that he's down, I think. I think he was down. Ball came out. Jaxer Lopez on the tackle. Fourth down and six for Brownfield. And you got to go for it if you're Brownfield at this point. Looking for the offsides penalty. Here we go. It is loud on the mill shoe sides. The fans are on their feet. Here we go. Martinez flushed out. Martinez is being chased. He's going to have to get rid of it. Here we go. Deep ball is going to be in and out of the hands. Of number 33, Josh Gonzalez, turnover on downs, and Josh Gonzalez was wide open. Oh, my goodness. J.J. Martinez was being chased around in panic mode. And turnover on downs. First and 10 for Milshu, 5'11", and this one, they lead 39-31. And I think you'd be nice and easy with the ball. Slow, methodical drive. You try to go down and score if you can, and if you can't, you burn as much time off on the clock as you will because that's what Milshu's done for the vast majority of the season. Long drives is what they're really good at. Nathan Martins to the left of him is Daniel Sines and Sebastian Kerbin at the wing. Handoff. Sines is going to be met in the backfield, and that's going to be a loss of two or three. Second down and 13 for Milshu. Clock running 450 and counting in the fourth quarter. I think Brownfield only has a timeout left. They had to burn one couple plays into the second half and then turn around and had to burn another one, I think, earlier in the fourth quarter. Five seconds left on the play clock. Got to get the playoff now. Here we go. Nathan Martin, Zervin Torres. He's going to be hit in the backfield. Tackled by Lotan Jimenez. We'll bring up third. And about... 16, I think, is where we're at. Four minutes exactly counting down on the clock. Brownfield press four once again. And I think if you're Milshu, I think you try to find something through the air right here. Safeties are pressed forward, and Brownfield has brought the blitz on the third down. 340, 5-4, you need to get the playoff now. Here we go. Nathan Martins looking. Nathan flushed out the pocket, and he's just going to take it himself. Nathan Martins is going to get upfield, and there he goes. First down. Nathan Martins' big run on the play, just a yard past the stick, will lead to a first down. I thought I saw a flag fly. Yeah, in sportsmanlike conduct, a flag did fly on the sideline. And that's going to be on the coach for the Cubs. He is in the face of the official crew. He's fixing to get another flag if he doesn't stop. Three nineteen left in the first quarter and sportsmanlike conduct. That's coming from the sidelines. And boy, coach is still at it. Oh, 
Well, first and ten, fresh set of downs for Milshu. Here we go, handoff. Daniel Sines is going to pile drive his way up the middle. And he got hit two yards behind and is now about two or two yards ahead of the stick. Game, three minutes left is what we're looking at. 39-31 left, or I'm sorry, 39-31 is the score. Milshu leads in this one. 245 left. 15 seconds on the play clock. Plenty of time to burn off as much as you can, and Milshu's been really good at this all season. Nathan Martin's at quarterback. I get the snap off. Here we go. Hand off Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is going to run to the outside and is going to make a couple men miss and get down to about the 15. That's good enough for a Milshu first down. Stops the clock at 222. Clock will run as soon as the ball is set. Here we go. Clock will now run. And Milshu just taking their time. 20 seconds left on the play clock. Ramsey Martinez, Irvin Torres at the bottom of your screen. Irvin Torres in the slot. Bone Cincinnati, lone receiver at the top of your screen. Sebastian Kervin's at the wing, the bottom or the left side of the line. Nathan Martin's your quarterback. 21 Daniel signs to the right of him. Here we go. Hand off. Daniel signs. Daniel signs going to be hit in the backfield. And timeout, Brownfield, 139 left in the fourth quarter. 39-31 is our score. We'll be right back after this timeout break. One thirty nine left in the fourth quarter, 39-31. Milshu second down in 15. Nathan Martins is going to take it himself. But that was a reverse. Oh, no. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Brownfield. That's number 45, David Garza. It was a reverse, and the ball was fumbled, picked up to the house for Brownfield. 37, 39 is your score. Brownfield is a two-point conversion away from tying the ball game. What a momentum shift. Brownfield only with one timeout left. And I thought that Milshu, you'd come out and run the ball, kind of burn more clock off that you can and... Here we go. Brownfoot's going to go for two. Now Milshu's going to take a timeout. What a change. What a change. 39-37. We'll be right back after this timeout break. 39-37. Two-point attempt for Brownfield to tie it up here in the fourth quarter. And here we go. You're going to have to get it out. That ball's picked off. Two-point conversion so good. Irvin Torch is just going to lay down. Milshu keeps the lead. 39-37 with 127 left in the fourth quarter. Milshu's offense will come out. Oh, my goodness. We'll be right back for your kickoff. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshu. Welcome back. What a change. 79-yard fumble recovery to the house, number 45. Here comes the onside kick. David Garza to the house for Brownfield. Had a chance to tie it up. Two-point conversion no good. Milshu leads 39-37, but I expect the onside kick right here. Oh, my goodness. Everyone's on their feet on both sides of the stands. The visiting stands are up. So are the Milshu stands. 
And that ball's going to go out of bounds. And Milshu will safely take it themselves. 127. And uh, at this point, I think you... I don't think you got to get a first down. I think you can knee it out here. Brownfield, I think, has one timeout left. But I think you... I think you definitely take the safe route right here. You... Take the knee. You leave with your victory in this one. Milshu will go play Bushland to open district play. Bushland undefeated so far in the season. They're 5-0. And, oh, and uh, as far as what I've known that they've led tonight. So they would look to go 6-0 and oh on the season. Here we go. Nathan Martin's at quarterback. First and 10. Hand off Daniel Sines. Daniel Sines is going to take and He's going to push forward. Big gain on the play. 115 left in this one. 39-37. Milshu leads. And timeout. Oh no, injury timeout. Uh, Brownfield player was able to get off on his own. That was Brandon Anthony. Got up, kind of limped off the field. Second and about three for Milshu. Clock will now run. Approaching the one-minute mark left in this one. You got 30 seconds left on the play clock. Turnovers is the story on this one, and uh, both teams with huge touchdowns from turnovers. Milshu with a uh, scoop and score. Brownfield with a scoop and score. Well, really, it's just kind of handed right to them and took it to the house, and that one was – both were important with that last one, man. That, that took the air out of everyone. Here we go. Daniel signs carry, and he's going to be pushed forward. And timeout Brownfield. So 23 seconds left. Brownfield will take their final timeout. As they take a timeout break, so will we. We'll be right back. You're listening to Channel 6 Milshoe. Welcome back. 23 seconds left in this one, and this one's going to be all over. Brownfield takes their final timeout. 39-37. Milshoe will look to end the hot streak of Brownfield. Brownfield coming into this one undefeated. Milshu. Oh, my goodness. Will end the win streak for the Brownfield Cubs. Brownfield will move to 5-1. and one. Milshu right behind them. Mil Milshu will move to 5-1. and one. Going into district play. They will face Bushland at Bushland. Ball game 39-37 is our final here in Milshu with the clock running out. We would like to see you at Bushland next week. Support your Mills to open district play and hope to end another hot streak. I'm Elliot Davis, the voice of the Mills, coming to you under the Friday Night Lights. We will see you all next week in Bushland. Have a good night. MuleshoeTV.com, Gil Live Advertising Channel 6 live stream broadcast of the Muleshoe Mules versus Brownfield Cubs football game brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Burton Service Center, Muleshoe Animal Clinic, Vet Supply, Shippens Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Muleshoe Independent School District, Mohawk Auto Parts, WTG Fuels, Milshu Area Medical Center, Edward Jones and Stephen DeMint, Farmers Insurance, Julie DeBruin, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, McCormick Seeds, and Bailey County Farm Bureau, Scott Miller.